So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of the twin flames, okay? So all the divine feminines and all the divine masculines, honey. If you in any way at all, identify as a twin, twin, twin ninja, then this reading is for Jewel, all right? Let us go ahead, y'all, jump straight into the reading. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for the twins on tonight. Thank you, Spirit. Tonight, today, whatever time of the day it is where you are in the world, honey. Thank you, thank you, because we know your girl's international, been international for some years now. So, shout out to all of you, no matter where in the world you are. All right, let me go ahead and put this instant over here in its place, you guys. And then let us go ahead and get started with the reading. We're going to start off with the situations deck just to kind of see what's going on in the background with the twins, okay? And then go from there. Thank you, spirit. What are the messages? We have single irreconcilable differences. So someone has separated themselves from a karmic energy. Okay, it keeps coming out like that. This person has access to you, whether you realize it or not. Some of you might have this person blocked. Okay, maybe you've had them blocked for a while because of their karmic situation. They're out of that situation. They've been trying to reach you and they can't. All right, so we have on the table. Why? Because there's an offer that they want to make to you. We have proposal. We have commitment. So I'm getting this heavy. All right, now, if you guys have been keeping up with my twin flame readings you've been seeing that the group of twins i have been reading for are coming into union all right so we have archangel michael here it says protection prevented from harm divine intervention spirit is stepping in and blocking this right now for whatever reason or another okay more than likely it's until they wrap up whatever loose ends they need to wrap up with their karmic situations those two energies don't mix you get what i'm saying deal with whatever sort of karma you need to deal with and then come towards your divine counterpart yeah we have magnetic okay unexplainable pull can't resist this person is constantly drawn back to you and if anything i feel like they're kind of annoyed or a little bit triggered because they can't understand why this person has become single like i said after being in a karmic relationship for what seems like some time so you would think that a person was like get single and they're like okay oh, hey, yeah i'm out here i'm in you know i'm in these streets basically but what they keep wanting to do is come back to you and they're like wait a damn minute you get what i'm saying like i, I just want to be single i just want to play the field i just want to have fun right now i don't want to Go towards my feminine, okay? And not to mention, spirit knows that, yes, they're drawn to you, but because they're in that playboy, playgirl type of energy right now, spirit is like, you know, it's just not best for you guys to come together because we don't need you to cause any type of pain. We don't need you to make this situation harder than it needs to be, right? So we have interview this person wants to talk they want to get on the same page they want to see where you stand how you feel and make sure you have not discarded them you have not thrown them out permanently all right now some of you have you know discarded this person discarded this situation because you feel like you know what it's lust based i'm good you know somebody wants me for this they don't want me for everything that this was meant to be i'm good on that you know like i'm totally good on that i'm worth more than that and you are you get what i'm saying so if that's the case if this person just simply wants that from you i don't blame you because this is not something to be sexualized or romanticized although it's very easy to do so especially with your divine counterpart because of the attraction to them i mean everything about them is just okay like it makes you feel like that so sometimes it's hard you know not to romanticize it not to sexualize it but i'm feeling that's not what you want you're like if you're going to sexualize it at least give me some romance with it don't just be trying to sex me down you get what i'm saying so that's the energy that i'm picking up here we have drama queen and we have synchronicity so once again the reason why this reconciliation has been paused or has been intervened with is because there's a drama queen in the midst someone who causes a lot of chaos someone who's thirsty for attention or drama and spirit is like we don't have time for that you've been getting signs 11 11 2 2 2 3 3 3 different signs letting you know that your person is on the way all right or they're coming back to you or whatever you want to call it some of them also feel like you're being dramatic by not um accepting them back or not welcoming them back okay so let us see what we have here for the twins what are the messages thank you spirit okay 
we have lockbox okay so this person thinks about you a lot it seems like that's all they do actually is think about you okay we have done yeah but like i said a lot of you are showing up as not wanting to deal with this person in that way because of whatever has taken place here or whatever's been going on in your your situation all right we have realization so they've come to this realization you guys that you are their divine feminine that you are their divine counterpart and now that they've had this realization they want to come towards you it's like you're you're on hold you're paused you're backed up you don't want to do it you get what i'm saying or something like that you're backed up that's funny as hell. if you have something you need to release that's that's the conversation you and your masculine might need to have but i don't know what's going on here with that but <laughs> you guys okay moving forward so it's like yeah they've realized who you are to them but now that they have realized this you're ready to go the opposite direction okay so let us see here what do we have for the twins thank you spirit okay gossip okay so once again this car has been coming out a lot all right so when it comes to that envious third party that jealous dramatic um overly uh how do i put this i, I want to say overly talkative but yes because this person talks too damn much i feel like it's always looking for something or somebody to talk about all right um yeah so that's kind of why spirit is just kind of intervening right now you know especially because spirit knows you spirit knows you for real you get what i'm saying you're a healing you're not healed you get what i'm saying like you you okay we just gonna leave it there all right but spirit knows you so spirit is like this is what we not gonna do right so we have pretending we have somebody who is fake somebody who is how do i put it um somebody who's very toxic yes yeah, somebody who's very uh, envious somebody who's very jealous somebody who has a hateful spirit that's pretending to be something they're not i feel like maybe the masculine has realized this now or they've come to some sort of you get what i'm saying yeah because with realization it's like they had to have seen it so focus this is why they're focused on you it's like they realize that the karmic is not who they said they were the karmic is very opposite to what they said they were we're just going to say that i'm going to be nice about it okay underlying energy here is meeting okay two or more people discussions and planning all right so like i said before this person wants to meet up with you they want to talk that is now the third time that we saw that we see interview okay it says talk conversation get on the same page on the table says offer proposal commitment okay meeting says two or more people discussions and planning so they really want to get together with you they want to see you spend time with you talk to you all of that get on the same page but because of whatever third party interferences here like i said loose ends that they need to tie up this is why everything is kind of on hold okay so let us see let's get some more here for the twins thank you spirit what are the messages for the twins thank you spirit all right so we have abundance okay so it says keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss okay so i feel like at this time you're manifesting all of your heart's desires once again this includes but is not limited to your twin flame okay we have palm tree they see you as somebody that they can have something stable and secure with something that is of permanence that will continue to grow and endure over time something that will not break but will be flexible no matter what you guys go through deal with or face you can get through and overcome it together okay that's the energy that's coming up here in this reading very beautiful let us see what else here for the twins thank you spirit we have the chaser okay so the runner has become the chaser all right um somebody is afraid of you leaving them or abandoning them for something else or someone better you get what i'm saying now that they've come to this realization of who you are how they discarded you once upon a time they're afraid that you're going to do the same all right we have date all right yeah they're afraid that you're going to meet someone new get back out there um have them chasing after you you get what i'm saying or whatever the case may be but um i don't think so that's it's really petty but the underlying energy here with boat is progression okay so i feel like you guys are going to be moving forward letting the past be the past once you have whatever necessary conversation of course you get what i'm saying but you'll be able to move forward from there okay why not so what can you learn from the challenges that you've gone through together and how can you be open with one another here okay 
Are you going to be receptive to this person when they open up to you? Or do you just want them to open up just so you can know what's going on? You get what I'm saying? In addition to that, any drama or chaos or gossip or anything like that that's nonsense is trash. Discard it. Okay? You should only be focused on the positive. And honestly, anything that is beneficial or helpful for you and your divine counterpart. Anything outside of that, anyone outside of that... Who cares, honestly? So we have trust. Yeah, you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. Exactly. So if you're sitting here counting it out and saying, oh, well, this happened in the past and this, that, and the third. So is that the same thing that's going to happen now? Well, most likely if that's what you're attracting, okay? We have boundaries, all right? Um, be mindful of the boundaries. Healthy boundaries is cool. You get what I'm saying? It says having sensible boundaries is important. Yes. Let it be known what you will and will not tolerate, what you will and will not accept, what is and is not okay. You get what I'm saying? And then we have power. All right. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together with the underlying energy of clarity. Take time to think about your situation to gain clarity. All right. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair